Hey guys, welcome to episode 6 of the 1.12.2 pack. Now, so far I'm not having so much luck with this because I think I've tried to record this like three times now, each one having its own problems. One, I did try to actually record in Twilight Forest, but I found that there is a problem where I can't get the achievements. And because of that, I can't progress in the Twilight Forest, meaning the Twilight Forest isn't happening. I can't do the Twilight Forest. Which is ridiculously annoying. Um, so, yeah, the Twilight Forest is in the pack, but you can't do anything with it because you can't get the achievements to do them. Which is quite annoying. And that was my original plan for today's episode until I found out that that's not going to happen. So, instead, what we're going to be doing today is working on another system of doubling ores. Now, currently, what we're using, uh, I did not mean to pause, is the Tinker Smeltery, which is a good source, but the problem is, if I want to get something out, I have to pour it out, it also uses lava, which is not the cheapest thing, there's a skeleton over there, but yeah, lava is not the cheapest thing, all of this is just very inconvenient, very annoying, so what I want to do today is I want to make two things. I want to make a jetpack, and I want to make a another way of doubling my ores. And it's going to be like auto, auto doubling, and then smelting. So that's the plan for today. What this takes, I'm I'm thinking because I need I think I need a pulverizer for the second part. So I'm going to need a pulverizer, which it's pretty pretty cheap, but. I don't know. I it, I don't know. I just have to pull things out, which is annoying. And this is the whole what I mean. It's like I, it's just annoying having to pull items out of that thing because I've been having to pull stuff out for the longest time. And do I have any tin out? Do I have any tin actually? I'm not even sure if I do. okay. I do I have some tin? Okay. I have myself worried there. But yeah, I'm gonna need tin. I'm gonna need iron. Oh, I need glass. Ah, oh, I didn't even think about glass. Do I seriously not have- okay, I have sand, but I don't have any glass. Are you kidding me? Really? I have all of this stuff, but I don't have any glass. Alright, well, um, while that's smelting, might as well set up everything else. So, yeah, basically what this machine runs off of is power instead of lava, which, with those wind generators, we got- oop, don't go in on ladder. With the wind generators, we've got infinite power, so power is not a problem at all. Alright, I need to grab that, and that. And, I don't know, just... It would seem more convenient to me, because instead of having to pour the stuff out, I'm just getting the ingots straight up. So, I don't know. I think it'd be a lot easier. I've done this a lot in my own single-player worlds. I've been playing hardcore for some reason lately. But, I don't know, I've not been focusing on recording as much as I should have. So, yeah, sorry about that, but, yeah. Okay, get that up. And I can craft that. Then I can craft this. Is that everything? Yes, it is, for pulverizer. So now, what I can do... Uh, let's break that. And... Uh, no, don't break it with a crossbow. You're not going to get it back if you do. Alright, so... What I need to do is I need to hook up the pulverizer right there. It will be gaining power. And basically, how this... Oh, that's not how you spell it. Uh, what you can do is you can take an ore, throw it in the pulverizer. And let me find this thing real quick while this is working. There we go, redstone first. But this thing pulverizes it. And it will give me two pulverized iron. Which is amazing. And, it, in Iron's case, like, each ore has a different set, but in Iron's case, it has a chance, like, see? These things have chances to bring second items with them. Like, you see, if I if I do this brimstone, I have a chance to get blaze powder out of it, and gravel is 100%. And all of these items, I have a chance to get another item. I, I can't find the items that I want to find. Oh, there we go. Found an ore earlier. Ah, oh, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, oh, there we go. So, yeah, it pulverizes the iron, and you have a chance to get a second drop that is a different ore. While you get double the resources. 
So what I want to do with this is I want to make a redstone furnace. Hopefully I have clay because I forgot to go out and look for some. Okay, I do have some. Alright, I only need eight for now. Uh, I need more copper. I need about that much redstone. And then I'm going to need a bit more. That's bronze. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then, no, where would I put that? Okay, there it is. And then I'm going to need more tin. So I got the tin. Got the iron. I'm running so low on iron right now. Because I don't want to have to worry about uh, making another... Or make taking it out of the... Uh, whatever you... What... That. What you might call it. The smeltery. There we go. I don't want to take it out of the smeltery. It's just, as I said, an inconvenience. Eventually I will have to take everything out of the smeltery. Just because it's in there. And if I want to get it out, I will have to. But for now, I want to try to avoid it as long as possible, because I'm lazy, and I hate that kind of stuff. Alright, so, that is the redstone furnace, now being crafted up as soon as those bricks finish. So what we can do with this is, because how, how thermal foundation works is these areas on top, so it's like blue, red, I think the bottom's yellow, you can get this configuration. And basically what you can do is if you, I put a chest on the right here, everything in this red slot would go into the chest. I can also function this with a furnace, so all the drops, or all the iron, would go straight into the furnace, and it would smelt up, and then I can put it into a chest later. Or it can, or I can even automate it going into a chest, technically. Why do I still have this on me? Alright. So this is the first part, obviously, did not take that long, but that's not the entire thing of what I want to do today. I want to make a jetpack. If possible, I want to make an armored jetpack, but I definitely want to make a normal jetpack. Now, the main reason I needed a pulverizer for this is because I need pulverized osmium, I believe. It's either osmium or... no, wait. Oh, they changed the recipe, it looks like, okay. But I do need pulverized diamonds. Which is a bit more expensive. Alright, that'll be powering up. And then I switch this to blue. And there we go, see? It takes the iron from this and pops it in here and starts cooking it. And the best part is, this actually is faster than a uh, normal furnace. And eventually, I can get upgrades. Yeah, they're kind of expensive, but eh. But yeah, I can make this... And then it makes it so I can add my own personal augments, I think they're called. I can completely customize how I want it, so I can make it faster or whatever. And for furnace, it's best to do just speed, but for other machines, it's better for other things. Alright, so, now, jetpack. So we need tin, steel, nah, steel's fine, osmium... And then that. So that'd be five osmium, I think. Do I have any osmium? Because I'm not seeing any osmium. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm there for five. I'm gonna need two steel, but I'm gonna need nine or eleven for that in total. Which means I need to. Oh, I thought I was running out of iron. Definitely not running out of iron. Alright. Take all that. I need 22 coal for this. There we go. 22 coal. And then. I just need one redstone. Is there any... No, nothing expensive here. Two diamonds. And... Two bronze. Some tin. See, this is not as expensive as I originally remember this stuff being. Which, on one side, is nice. But on the other, is also a bit annoying. Because, because I remember this all being super expensive, I thought it was going to be a huge process. Although... Oh, I just remembered. Yeah, there's a humongous process behind this entire thing. Because I also have to get some, uh... Or I have to also get some hydrogen for this thing. I can't just expect it to work. It actually requires hydrogen to work. So that is probably going to be a jump cut for once I remember how to do that. And get all the resources and all of that. But for now, I think I'm just going to speed through the creation of this. So yeah, be right back. 
Alright, so I know I said I was going to speed through it, but I decided not to because it was a super boring process of making all of this, so I was like, no, nah, no, nah, let's not. Anyway, so we can now officially make this, which was basic control circuit. There we go. We have the jetpack. Problem is, if I try to fly, it doesn't work. You have to hold space. Holding space right now isn't working. Why don't we fly? So what we have to do, actually, you know what, let's first upgrade the machine, or the jetpack. So first, let's pop that in there, was it? Let's, yep, and then bronze with two diamond dust, there we go. I think it does the armor of a diamond chest plate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does that. So, now what we have to do is make an elect electrolytic, electrolytic separator. And I believe I have all the resources for this. Hopefully. Nope, I need two more. It's done. <sighs> okay, that's fine. Whatever. I've got it. It's just annoying. Alright, so now I pop that in there. And we need power. Do I have any more cables? If I have any more cables, I'd like to put it right next to the water. Um. Yeah, I'm not seeing any more cables. Alright, looks like we're going to live with putting it right here. So, basically what we have to do is... Oh, it's dumping excess there. Okay, so we'll get some water. And then we put this in here. And basically what it'll do over time, it'll create both hydrogen and oxygen. And the hydrogen is what we need. Because we need hydrogen to power this thing. Now eventually I wouldn't mind trying to automate this, try to figure out a way to uh, automatically pump water into it, so that way whenever we need to refuel, we just can, we don't have to worry about actually needing to manually put water in. Fact, I remember there used to be this item called an ah, aqueous accumulator. How ex this is not very expensive. At all. I think I might want to try to build this, because yeah, that's, that's pretty cheap. Uh, it's Put this thing in here for now. Fill it up on hydrogen. But yeah, if we can make that's also that was a really high pitched sound. I'm very sorry if that hurt your ears because it wasn't really hurting my ears, but it was getting slightly annoying. All right, uh, we need one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I need eight iron. And then we need a bucket, which I don't want to use one of my current buckets because I need those. Alright, I think that's, I think that's, no wait, nope, no, 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 we need that, and that, and then we need to take the glass from here. Oh no, I need, of course, I need two more glass. Actually, let's put that in the redstone furnace instead. Just make it a bit faster. Wow, that's really high pitch, I do not like that sound. Alright, copper gear, and then we can make that. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. I don't know if this needs power. If so, I'm going to have to make even more cables, which is going to be even more of a hassle, but whatever. Alright, so now I'm just missing glass, which I can should be able to just pop over here real quick. And... There we go. So now, I believe if I do that, does it automatically, or do I need to... Oh yes, it automatic. Okay, so I don't even need to give it power. So now if I make some fluid ducts, how do I make this? <laughs> I just, really what I need to do is just smelt up all my sand. I think that's what I'm going to do right now. Although I'm then, uh, no, because if I smelt up all my sand, then we got to find out somewhere that I need the sand for something. And I'm going to have smelted it all up, so I'm just going to smelt up 16, I think it was. So we need copper, which, hey, we got plenty of, so I'm not in any problem. Okay. I think I'm gonna flip the places with the, uh, the metallurgic infuser and the electrolytic separator. I'm not sure much I've cut it out right now, and night's falling. But I'm not sure how much I've cut out right now, because a lot of this is really just boring stuff. It's just, yeah, it's really, really annoying. Alright. There we go. Fluducks. So now I should be able to do this, and then pump water in. 
Let's go, okay. So now what this is doing is passively creating hydrogen. But, right now, as you can see in the bottom, it says hydrogen 6,000. What that means is, if I hold space now, I have achieved flight. I have achieved flight. Yes. Oh man, that's so exciting. Which, this will make travel so much easier. I think I need to learn the keybinds, but I can actually turn it on to hover mode, so I'll just hover around. And I can also turn the jetpack off if I don't want to have it on. Alright, I uh, need to dump excess, because I don't need oxygen right now. What is oxygen? Oh, I can't look up what oxygen is used for. Anyway, for now, I'm going to keep charging this thing up with hydrogen. I'm not sure how much it's going to require, but nevertheless, I'm going to charge it up. But, hey, I think I'm done for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.